tequila is rich in a history far beyond the popular margarita. Originally used during rituals beginning 2,000 years ago, tequila has evolved into the potent spirit we drink today and in recent years has transcended a quality we could not imagine a few decades ago. The story of tequila begins not with the famous spirit we know today, but rather with a little-known drink called pulque. Tequila's ancestral drink, pulque, dates as far back as 200 BC and was mainly used as a ceremonial drink by the Aztecs during their ritual sacrifices. Whilst most other early alcoholic drinks are guessed to have happened almost by accident, pulque and tequila are attributed to divine intervention and referred to as a gift from the gods. In pre-Columbian times, agave was central to Indian life. The spines used for needles, pins, writing implements, nails. The leaves are very fibrous and were woven into rope, parchment, roofing materials and paper. The heart could be cooked and eaten or hollowed out to make a gourd. The sweet sap was used as glue, cement, soap and could also be fermented to make a low alcohol beer called pulque. Such a useful plant was seen as a gift from the gods, specifically a representation of Mayuel and the goddess of the earth. The red sap of the plant was seen as her blood, hence the agave was a symbol of rape power. The pulque was sacred and used in religious rituals. The Spanish conquistadors brought with them the technique of distillation. They created a spirit known as mezcal. They discovered that the best mezcal came from an area called Jalisco, around the small town of Tequila, where a particular species of agave, the blue agave, was found. So the spirit took its name from the town. Tequila was a spirit of the people, roughly made and quickly consumed. In 1935, there was an outbreak of Spanish flu in Mexico. Doctors prescribed lime juice for vitamin C, salt to replace that lost by sweating and tequila for its emotional power, giving rise to a lasting tradition. Americans came down to Mexico for a taste of the wildlife. They brought an enthusiasm for Mexican culture back to the US. Mexican cinema became very popular, spreading a stereotyped image of hairy, sweaty men dressed in sombreros and women with dark, curly hair and flashing eyes. This created a huge demand for tequila but the agave plant takes six to 10 years to reach maturity, so surges in supply and demand are hard to accommodate. The government allowed tequila producers to blend in up to 49% of sugars other than agave so that they could produce enough tequila rapidly to feed the sudden demand. The new mixed dough style of tequila was fermented and distilled as quickly as possible and exported to markets in the US and Europe. The spirit was generally bitter and peppery and gave rise to tequila's unfortunate reputation and limited it to high energy macho drinking rituals. In recent years, the tequila industry has undergone a revolution in terms of quality. Led by domestic demand for smoother aged styles, producers have started to produce more Reposado and Añejo variants. Tequilas worthy of sipping and savoring with a complexity to rival other aged spirits. Brands such as Patron are leading the way with movie stars and musicians praising the glories of great tequila.